doing? Welcome to the Hands Up for Trad afternoon show. We have a multitude of people broadcasting with us today, including Manran, Ewan Henderson, Trail West, and many, many more. Everyone is linked in some way. Welcome, everybody. Hello, Hello, Hello Simon. Is the sun shining where you are? Certainly is. Just about, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm inside, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I opened the blinds, it definitely would be, yes. Oh, fantastic. Well, we're going to start off with our uh, Galway correspondent, Alana McInnes, who's giving us a wee tour of what she's doing at the moment. Hello, and welcome to my lockdown life here in Galway. I thought maybe that I would bring you out on my two-kilometre wander around the city so you could see what's going on, or more likely, what's not going on just now. Here we are on Shop Street, which is normally full of buskers and people and folk enjoying themselves. But it's just me. A fun fact for you folks, this is the fastest flowing river going through a city in Europe. But it's pretty tame as well, just tonight. However, in the, in the distance there you can see Galway Cathedral. On the other side, for all you Steve Earle fans out there, there's the long walk from the song The Galway Girl. I took a stroll on the old long walk of a day I, I, I. I've often wondered what she would be saying to life when she could see what was going on in the place but I think she's got not much to report these days. Well folks, thank you for coming with me on my wee lockdown two kilometre wander around Golly City. Hopefully next time there'll be a wee bit more to report but for now, I better get home, look after yourselves, stay safe and of course stay at home. Cheers to now. Fantastic. Well, we're joined <laughs> by Manran. How's it going, guys? Good evening. How are you doing? Thanks, yeah. Of course, it's, and we're joined by the new lineup of Manran. Well, well certainly, some of us. certainly one of them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Others are struggling. Yeah. Less than half. <laughs> Less than half. That's right. Yeah. So tell us about who is in the new lineup. Well, I think Kim Carney should probably take this one. Oh, well. See, see, if, see if she's learnt everyone's names yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, we've got two two new members. So myself and Aidan Moody joined, and we joined um, Gary, Ewan, Ryan, Ross, and Mac. Oh, well done. Thanks. I, I did it all, all the points. <laughs> I could see you were definitely reading that off your phone, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I was like, what's that paper called again? <laughs> Get Wikipedia up. And, yeah. ha- and have you got planned to make new music? The last album, Andela, was very successful. Uh, is there, are you in the studio? I know not at the moment, but is, have you been there? What's the plans? Yeah, we we were supposed to be in right now, to be honest with you. But um, but this has kind of put the tin hat on that for now. But we're, um, it's just it's given us the opportunity to take a wee bit more time over it than we might have done otherwise. <laughs> I mean, we started recording the album at the back end of last year. We've got quite a few tracks that sort of the bones down of it. And in fact, we were actually just one vocal away from uh, Kim's vocal from putting out a single just before lockdown kind of happened. But this is our 10 year, our kind of 10 year anniversary this year. So we had loads of great plans. And obviously the the album was definitely part of that because of uh, COVID-19, as you said, the sort of the tin hat's been put in it, but very much, you know, we've got the, we've got 90% of the album there, uh, or thereabouts, which is quite exciting, so yeah, there will be new music when it will be released, <laughs> goodness, so when, when we're allowed out this rabbit hutch, who knows. <laughs> and, and have you experimented in the world of Zoom rehearsals yet? <laughs> Yeah, well, we, we we tried a wee bit of that, but obviously the lag and things is, is pretty difficult. Um, and in fact, in many ways, uh, you and myself's playing is perfect because I usually play ahead of the beat and he likes to sit back. So, you know, it's actually coming together pretty well. But it gives you a false sense of security. Yeah, there's not really doing anyone anything. <laughs> We've never seen it better. And of course, I mean, as, as one of the many things cancelled, your, your festival was cancelled as well. Yeah, it was. That was really, really disappointing. Um, we'd organised the the first music or the first music festival to happen in Lochaber in nearly thirty years, um, eighteen hundred capacity over uh, two days, so three thousand six hundred capacity, and it was it was all going so well until the until this took over. But 
I've just spent an hour on the phone to Eventbrite, the ticket company as well. We have moved over to Easter weekend next year on the 2nd and 3rd, and we have made tickets available to people who have purchased already just to swap straight over to that date. But, yeah, hugely disappointing, but, I mean... We're also meant to be on a 32-day tour of Germany, um, Belgium and Austria at this point as well. Uh, we're not the only band that's missing out in tours and work just now and, and major events. It's hugely disappointing, but you know we will we will get through it, as I say, and uh, hopefully there, there will be some kind of positives that come out the back end of it. Well, that's great. I'll just mention a few people here. We've got Petra from Germany, uh, Janet Stewart from Sunny Nairn. We've got Claire from Verona. You guys are popular. Dan from Philadelphia, all saying hello. I don't know if we've got anyone really far. Oh, Deb from Western Australia. And De we've got Dorothy oh, from Denmark. <laughs> My goodness. And Gail Smith says, well, I'm going to put this on the, on the broadcast. Kim Carney is a national treasure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you later, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's just beaten Denmark. We've got Japan. That's if I've got my flags right. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> anyway, it's a memorable one <laughs> anyway we are going to play a video of yours it's a great video it's a video from glasgow's barrowland ballroom which just came out you must have recorded that at celtic connections was that a great gig yeah it was really good fun we've done we've done a few gigs at the barrowland now but f for me that was probably the most enjoyable one yeah, it was great. It did look like you're having a good time, and the band just looked so fantastic on the stage. As we're going to, we're going to see now. We're going to show the video. Now, excuse my non-Gallic. Is it Mil Dobrogan? Perfect. Mailed it. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to go to Salma Rustic after all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. You wouldn't be allowed just now, anyway. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> to have you guys when you come back next year that's for sure right do you all recognize this that's correct take the floor now as you know we have gary here but we're also very lucky to be joined by the producer of the show jennifer crookshank how's it going very well, how are you, Simon? Excellent, excellent. <laughs> oh, it's good. So, as well as the Take the Floor, you have just started a brand new programme. Yeah, we're live on a Sunday night from five till seven. It's called Take the Floor, Your Requests. And the idea was uh, that I just thought at this time people could be doing with something else to listen to. And I, I, I offered it to BBC Radio Scotland as a programme. I was kind of get it on for traditional music. That was my kind of idea. 
and offered at any time in the schedule. It turned out the best place to put it was live on a Sunday from five to seven. So not only we get take the floor with our dance session on a Saturday night, we're live and it's your request. What your request we play, and yeah, we've been inundated. People seem to love it. Yeah, good. Are you enjoying it, Gary? I'm loving it, yeah. I mean, it's it's obviously it's so different to take the floor naturally. It's usually recorded on a Wednesday morning or a Thursday morning. And then you kind of forget about it. You know, you, you go away and you get a text message or a call from somebody saying that they're listening in or they're enjoying the broadcast. But you, you kind of, that, that kind of door's closed, as it were, you're going about your, your daily, uh, well, not so much now, but, you know, you're, you're sitting in the house and things where you maybe got it on, listening to some of the great bands. But what is lovely now is, is being able to hear... Uh, and, and be involved with a, a live broadcast every Sunday night. And, you know, the reaction, as Jennifer mentioned, has been terrific. There's people writing in and getting in touch from all over the world, putting in their, their favourite requests, which is, is really, really cool. Oh, it's brilliant. It reminded me a little bit of uh, Mr Anderson's Fine Tunes. Yeah. <laughs> which was a soundtrack of my 20s. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good. And are you having any themes or is it, is it just any, any tunes that come up? Well, Jennifer is allowing me to wear what I want at the moment, so I'm still just going to end up usually a t-shirt and shorts, but, you know, there might be more, more kind of pirate-based themes and, you know, more fancy dress at some point. I mean, it's interesting, uh, Jennifer and I were talking about this earlier, the, uh, the dance band music in, the, in this funny old time has really risen to the fore with uh, uh, Facebook groups like Tunes in the House. It's been absolutely amazing. Yeah, there's so many different bands getting together, you know, starting off with a lead box player and they're adding on a second accordion, piano, bass, drums, all independently. And there's so many of them been posted. But not only that, we've got people like John Carmichael and John say, can I say not a spring chicken? And every day he's posting <laughs> a box on every day giving his opinion. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, that's fantastic. So five o'clock at um, five o'clock on Sunday, is that right? Yeah, five o'clock Sunday to seven o'clock. Live. Well, well, that's absolutely brilliant. Well, thanks very much, guys. No Our problem. Pleasure. Simon. Right, well, <coughs> again, in these funny times, when you release an album, how do you promote it? Do you do a live gig? Do you, uh, do you just talk about it? Or do you do some innovative videos? And you and Henderson has just doing just that. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> Hi folks, you and Henderson here. Today I'm going to take you through a quick home workout routine that you can try at home using everyday items we've all got lying around. So we're going to start with a quick warm up, a little bit of jogging on the spot and what I like to do here just to get the blood pumping a little bit more, I'm just going to grab a couple of you and Henderson Strell CDs just to get the arms working that little bit more. Okay folks, now we're going to try a few press ups just now, so just a regular press up. Get it nice and low, make sure you get right down to the ground. And if you'd like to make this a little bit trickier, I can recommend putting a box of roughly 33 Ewan Henderson Strel CDs on your back and working away. Remember, this could be any CD. Ewan Henderson Sings Gaelic would work just as well. Is he? Oh, fantastic. I love that, Ewan. That's so funny. <laughs> Ugh, oh, I'm just, I'm not above a publicity stunt, Simon. I'm sure, sure you know that. <laughs> yes, you're speaking to someone who knows that one. <laughs> and congratulations on your new album anyways, Jal. It's a great album. Thanks very much. Uh, it's just um, pretty poor timing. <laughs> uh, on my part, I suppose, but not like I guess to see this coming. So it's just, it's really, these kind of videos were just kind of born out. I can't audio shift my gigs or anything, so. And uh, oh. I, I've noticed. Hello. Uh, hello. I've noticed from your many, your many social videos, you actually play quite a lot of instruments. Do you play all the instruments uh, on the album? Nearly everything. I got um, you McPherson's playing guitar and uh, and uh, Joe Harp. And I also got James McIntosh doing percussion, James Lindsay on bass, and uh, Tom Gibbs on clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I loved your video you made for the Song of the Brandy. Where was that shot? 
That was a that was actually live footage from the mod when it was in Glasgow, <laughs> uh, featuring two of the guests we've got on your show today, oh, that's Johnny right. and Ian. Yes, I've got a picture of them. Where are they? Oh, here we go. Hey! <laughs> 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 easily, the, up. easily the stars of the video. I kind of, I was kind of relying on a lot of method acting for that there, so I kind of had to turn to the best. <laughs> Uh, someone's just said that actually that they um, uh, they drove about two thousand five two and a half thousand kilometres in forty five degree heat across Australia with Ewan Singh's Gaelic. That's Casey Good McKenzie. God. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair play. <laughs> <laughs> that was you to me, Devon. <laughs> Well, I, if you'd like to, if you would like to buy the album, you can get it at uan-henderson.com. Right, let's have a wee look at this video. Jihalam, Jihalam, Jihalitl Hampton, Jihalitl Hampton, Jihalitl Hampton, Jihalitl Jihalitl Hampton, Jihalitl Hampton, Jihalitl Hampton, Jihalitl Hampton, I forced an ampy jock, I can't be a cop and gown or the patches as the bottle of Ganyel is toch your gown or chef to chin the tosh of heck a brass to hug a kind chick it be a hula jock, I can't just talk her in the brandy. Jihalam, Jihalam, Jihalitl Hampton, Jihalitl Hampton, Jihalitl Hampton, Jihalitl Hampton, Jihalitl Hampton, Jihalitl Hampton, Ah, fantastic. Well, we're just looking at the comments here. So there's lots more of them. Uh, lots of people work, watching from worldwide. Spain, Didcot, Peterhead, <laughs> Porto Westfalica, Germany. Is that a Spanish region? I don't know, but it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic. It's Hector Henderson has said, many a shell I've had a listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Hector's put a couple of comments up that he must have deleted. I'm not sure what he's been up to, but I'll try to respond to them and they're going. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we've now been joined by Shawnee McIntyre with who Ewan plays in the League of Highland Gentlemen, the award-winning <laughs> League of Highland Gentlemen. Now, oh, yeah. <laughs> Still proud to call ourselves newcomers after, after all these years. <laughs> Now, not many people will have had the opportunity to see this band, of course. <laughs> but uh, what, is the, what is the idea behind the League of Highland Gentlemen? Hey, uh, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to see a video in a moment that you're actually going to get an idea of it, actually. So when you put it together, well, tell who's who's actually all in the League of Highland Gentlemen? Hey. Well, it's myself and Ewan Henderson, you can see here, and it's also Ross Wilson from Tidelines and Alec Douglas from Scary Board. Oh, quite an all-star lineup. You've You've actually permanently blown our identities here. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, Mike, Mike Katz has been a, an honorary member That's of the league as well group. on a couple of occasions. And do you have any plans to do any other gigs? No, lockdown actually suits us down to the ground. <laughs> We're in kind of like semi-permanent hiatus uh, just now anyway, so this is kind of, it's very much our natural state. Until until the world needs the league again, we'll kind of we'll remain like this. The, well, the league's always on call. Yeah. Well, the video we're going to see is the one where you pay tribute to your fellow Gaelic singer, Darren McLean. <laughs> Did you enjoy taking his soul and uh, ripping it into pieces? Uh, <laughs> is this the video I think it's going to be? <laughs> I think it is. Shall we have a wee watch? Uh, <laughs> uh. I Oh, 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 oh. 
So, <laughs> well, what can you say to that? I, I, well, I happily forgot that existed. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> Well, listen. Anyway, I I thought I would offer Darren McLean the offer the opportunity to respond to that video. <laughs> so uh, he sent in a video for you guys, and here he is. The League of Highland Gentlemen Filioro video. I barely remember it. Um, I think it came out around about four years ago. Four years, two months, and twelve days. Uh, it was a parody video of me um, singing Filioro, doing some dance moves. We were in the same category in a short film competition at the time, the Film G Awards. And round about then, an acquaintance came up to me and said, I hear that they're trying to undermine you, you know, undermine your reputation to gain extra points or a tactical advantage in the, in the competition. Now, I don't believe that um, at all. Um, I didn't at the time, anyway. But um, but it seemed to work for them. They won. Um, congratulations, guys! Well done. Um, I think that their intentions were 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 pure, uh, purely, purely to ruin my career. In fact, thinking about it, like they chose that song, right? They know I only know one song. I know I only know one song. People used to come up to me all the time and go, "Darren, can you sing for you? Can you sing for you, Darren? You know." And I'd be absolutely delighted to you. I used to sing that song about four times each gig, you know, five, it was a 25 minute set. Um, but now, no, nothing. I've been asking a few occasions, you know, do you know the League of Highland Gentlemen's Feel Euro? You know, I'd laugh. Take it all in good humour and just pretend that I didn't know what they're talking about. But in fact, it did really, really hurt me. Like, dagger to the heart, hurt. So I just want to say to the guys, uh, thanks very much. Yeah, thanks a bunch. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> thanks very much, Darren. I heard your say. <laughs> and the links keep on going, and we're now joined by Trail West, which of course features Shawnee McIntyre and Ian Smith. How's it going, Ian? Very well, Simon. Thanks. How you, how's yourself? Oh, very good. Now, Trail West are usually one of the busiest bands on the planet. <laughs> well, we try, try to keep ourselves going. <laughs> so how, are you feeling, how are you feeling your time? We've been obviously we've all been hit by this uh, this carry on as well. So we've been uh, we've been very very quiet actually for a change. Just before the the lockdown came in, we were actually recording a a new album. Um, like man, man, we're celebrating our tenth anniversary this year as well. So the idea was to to have a big year of doing some of the biggest gigs we've done, and unfortunately that's all kind of gone a wee bit out the window now but the album's almost ready and hopefully once the the stricter lockdown gets out the way whenever that might be we can get back in and finish it yeah because we're going to watch a video in a little bit uh, from your last album close to home featuring uh malcolm jones that was a that's a great album yeah it went really well that just went down really well that was the first one we had with uh, jonathan glesby and alan Nairn joining the band so it really kind of just upped the sound a lot um and really kind of just took us that wee step ahead, I think, and like further than than we'd been before with just the, the four of us. So really enjoyable to do the gigs with the six piece as well now. Really enjoying it. Well, we were before the before this <laughs> carry on hit. But uh, yeah. And Shawnee, were you in the band from the very start? No, well technically not. Technically Trail West is older <laughs> than ten years. Uh, what was it, two thousand and eight you started Ian? Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, myself and Findu are the only only surviving members from that. Mm. Well, surviving. <laughs> <laughs> the, rest, the rest are still alive as well. <laughs> but there was a few people there, and myself and Alan Campbell, uh, the guitarist, we joined in 2010, and just been going ever since. And just, yeah, it's been pretty good crack. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic! And Ian, of course, you um, uh, you also uh, do Tyree Gin. Which you've been Certainly. very successful yes. with. Um, what's going on with all of that? Things have actually been really good with that. Um, we've actually had, since lockdown <laughs> locked in, we've had more orders than we did at Christmas. 
So it's uh, <laughs> everybody's just sit, everybody sitting in the house getting steaming. So it suits us, right? Uh, I'm trying to kind of restrict my visits to the post office. So I let the orders build up over a couple of days and then uh, we're really thankful to the, the local post office workers and the, the post office workers throughout the or the postal workers throughout the, the UK who are delivering the, the gin and keeping people happy at home. <laughs> and and it's, also, it's also very handy having a distillery next door because if I want a wee dram, I can just nip in there and uh, have a wee blast of the stuff. Well, I was going to ask that question because you've just built a distillery on Tyree. Is that correct? Yeah, we just refurbished uh, my dad's old builder's yard. So that was just about... Uh, February last year is when we, we started actually distilling on the island. So, yeah, and it's right, as I say, it's right next door, so it's very handy. That's amazing, actually. That's amazing. Right, well, we're going to watch this video of yours. Um, let me just find it because it's actually disappeared, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is now. Expect the ability to turn it Fantastic! Well, that was absolutely great, actually, and can't wait to be dancing to hear that band again. Now, what we have next is our Wednesday quiz, and we are very lucky to welcome our hands up for drag quiz master general Anna Mac Alana McKiss to the. Hello, how are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Um, is anyone missing? <laughs> Who's missing? Oh, Gary's missing. Get rid of me. Let's get rid of me. Right, I'm gone. And there is Gary. Fantastic. Right, Alana, take it away. Thanks very much, Simon. So we're going to have a wee bite-sized quiz this week. Now, I see that some of you are getting ready with some kind of buzzers here. Can we hear from all of you? We'll go with you first, Gary. What have you got? The box here as well. For a wee... Oh, nice. Shawnee, let's hear your buzzer. A wee melodian. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. I'm not going to play any tunes in it. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Smith, let's hear from you. Oh, is that a bottle of gin? Uh, yes, of course. That's my <laughs> <laughs> Who have we got Imagine. next? Ewan, let's hear your buzzer. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, oh, oh. And last but not least, of course, Kim, let's hear what you've got. Maybe oh, that sounds like Harris gin. That sounds like yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's only a bite sized quiz we've got, so you better be quick with your fingers on your buzzers or your bottles, <clears throat> whatever you've got. <laughs> are you ready? Yeah. So, question mm -hmm. one Which band are the driving force behind the festival, Home and Live? <laughs> oh, that was Gary Honest. It was not. <laughs> that is definitely <laughs> scary more. I think oh, Gary's maybe got a better internet connection than the rest of you, has he? No, no, he's just louder. How <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, dare you, Kim <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever told me that before. <laughs> Question two. Where was pipe major Don McLeod MBE born? <laughs> oh, I think actually that was Ian Smith. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually know it. <laughs> I don't want to say it in case I get it wrong, so I'll uh, forfeit the question. <laughs> Go, Gary. Rossi. Nope. <laughs> you and Henry. Start away. Well, Yay! I, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I was going to say Lewis. <laughs> Next question. And I think actually the boys, the boys with the boxes had a, an advantage here. How many treble keys? Are <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, gust of wind. Carry on. <laughs> Do you want me to finish the question? I'll start yes, please. How many <laughs> keys are there on a standard 120 base accordion? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. Was that Ian or was think, that Gary? I think that was Ian Smith. Ian Smith? <laughs> uh, 41. That's right. Well done. So, next question. What is the title of Fergie McDonald's 50th album? Oh, Gary Ennis. I just like playing it. I'm not really sure. Um, <laughs> is it not just called the, the Fergie McDonald's 50 years? Or the 50th album? That's what it is. It's his 50th don't... album. What's it? <laughs> Any idea? Is it, is it gold or something? Or... No. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> 50 years of Fergie. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the clue might be in his own name or his own nickname. The Keeley King. Is it just called the Keeley King? <laughs> That's right, you. Ian. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of thought it was. I think that was Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll give it to you. But, but we have rules. <laughs> we have the rules. <laughs> Folks, are you ready? Yeah. How many band members are in the bands Scary Road, Man Run, and Trail West all together? Uh, is it is it the Trail West big band? Or... I'm not sure. I think that was or, Gary or... first, but Ian's more persistent. I'm going to go with twenty-one. <laughs> well done, Gary. That is the right answer. Now, I'm, not I'm sure all, all, I'm all on furlough at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well that is absolutely fantastic guys thank you very much for being part of this today uh, we will be back on Monday at 2pm on the Hands Up With Hand Facebook page and we'll see you then see you later cheers